The outbreak began in southeastern Guinea in March. Since then, it has spread to neighboring Sierra Leone and Liberia, with 814 confirmed cases across three countries. The Ebola virus is transmitted through bodily fluids, via oral and nasal exposure, and through the conjunctiva. The virus infects and replicates in immune cells, which further disseminate the virus. Lymphocyte depletion and necrosis are observed in the spleen, thymus, and liver. Intensified immune response leads to dysregulated coagulation, which causes bleeding and hemorrhaging in the gastrointestinal tract. Compromised vascular and endothelial cells also cause blood vessel leakage, leading to hypotension. Dysregulated host immune response, coagulation abnormalities, and an impaired vascular system lead to shock and systemic organ failure. Doctors are at high risk of exposure to the virus. They must apply additional infection control precautions, including wearing personal protective equipment, such as gowns, masks, gloves, and goggles, as well as ensuring complete equipment sterilization. Ebola patients must be isolated and attended by medical staff who have been trained in infection control measures.